Welcome to Valinor, an old school runescape RSPS featuring the top and most latest content is launching in less than 30 minutes. We're also going to be showing you guys a lot about the server, so make sure you guys do watch until the end. And of course, check out check out Valinor OS using the links below. In addition to that, they have loads of content, including teleporting through your inventory, being able to check out plenty of bosses, doing things like Nightmare, Next, a custom home area, tons of events and loads of other things. They also have a fully working grand exchange, deposit box, and even clean peking. In addition to this, they have a bunch of really cool items like the Zamorak AGS and their own crossbow. Now, of course, guys, I do want to jump right into the end game, but before we do that, let's have a quick look at their updates. Over the past few period of times, we have actually seen loads of updates get added into Valinor. Of course, we were currently playing the beta version, but now the official fully working released all content server is going live in only 17 hours. So make sure you guys are hopping in, get ready for a crazy time on one of the best old scale RuneScape servers, Valinora. Welcome to Valinor. We are currently in game on Valinor RSPS's beta version and we are going to have a look at exactly what they have in addition to looking at their custom home area. Of course they have multiple raids and we'll go ahead and show you guys that as well. So let's get started. When you first log in on Valinor you're going to notice their fully working custom home area. This includes a bank in the middle as well as a fully working grand exchange. In addition, there are plenty of shops like the general store, the combat store shop, and of course, all of your master capes, slayer masters, and plenty other things. In addition, you're going to have a chest area and a PvP slayer where you can go ahead and refill all of your juicy spec, attack, HP, and even prayer. Of course, like we've spoken about earlier, you can go ahead and speak to any Slayer Master and get yourself a task. In addition to this, Valinor offers fully working construction skill with a home build mode available. Now, their home area is quite big. If you were to keep on going south, you're going to find a skilling area and loads of other content just in this one spot. Now, there's actually loads of content to talk about, so I'm going to jump right into the features on Valinor. Number one, in your quest tab, you're going to notice a entire information section. This includes all your points, your donators, and even if you have any kill streaks. Of course, if you click on the subcategory, this is where you're going to see your player panel. This place includes achievements going from easy to medium to hard and the reward that you will get after completing each achievement. They also allow you to get titles from PKing titles to PVMing titles and even other titles. Of course, they have a fully working collections log ranging from bosses to mystery boxes to keys and even to other things like Revenants, Ancient Revenants, and Slayer. They have a fully working NPC drop table where you can type in the drop or the item name and you'll be able to receive it and see what drops you get or which NPC drops them for you. Presets slash PKing is a big thing on Valinor. A lot of people love to PK on the old school RuneScape experience. And so the only server that I've seen offer all three, both PVMing, PVPing, and skilling is Valinor. You're going to have the option to create your own presets, spell your book, change it, save your levels, and if you'd like to open it on death, in addition to editing your preset and loading your preset. Daily tasks are very common especially on Valinora where you can get huge rewards for doing simple tasks. Things like easy killing 20 experiments is going to give you guys some nice Christmas tokens, one mil, 15 double drop scrolls, and a crystal key. Of course, you're going to have the option to see exactly when this activity expires, the recommended combat level, and if the location is safe, as well as be able to teleport to exactly where this daily task is. These daily tasks range from skilling, to PVMing, to voting, and even other things. And as well as you shift from easy to medium to hard, the tasks do get bigger and the amount of things you have to do increase. Like this one, you can kill Zalra 15 times and get 1.5 mil cash, 
as well as three point mystery boxes. And lastly, you're gonna have the option to go and see some guides on their forum. If you're wondering where we are, we are currently in the Nexus layer. We're gonna go ahead and actually quickly look at the boss, but before we do that, I wanna show you guys something extremely unique. If you go all the way to your inventory tab and click on the corner, bottom right of course, you're gonna see a teleportation menu. In this menu, you can search the thing, like in this case, Nex, and it will appear. Anything with the word Nex in will show up. For example, if I wanna to go to Rock Crabs, boom, Rock, and then Crab, and everything will show up. Now, of course, this is really nice because it offers you a very convenient way to teleport, and you won't need to go home every single time you wanna go someplace. All you have to do is type it in. Maybe we wanna to go to uh, Edgeville, and it will appear. And of course, if you are going to plan on commonly going there, you can click the heart right there and it will save it to favorites. Of course, all you need to do is click on the star and it's right here. We've currently hopped on to Nex and he is fully functional. The best thing about it is it actually gives you that old school RuneScape feel with an addition to it being a bit easier. Of course, this is what everybody wants. You wanna be able to enjoy the game, but at the same time, not have the pressure and not the struggle as much as you would on Old Scout RuneScape. And this is exactly why I love Valinor. But that's not all. They have tons of different bosses. And of course, if you'd like to see their bosses, all you have to do is type in boss or scroll through the menu. And of course, all the bosses will show up. Things like Corporal Beast Slayer, Serpent Slayer, Abyssal Nexus, and a bunch more, of course, all of these are included under it. They even have fully working Nightmare, Dekanoth Kings, Bryphus, Cernoths, Raids and a bunch more. Of course, they do have fully working COX rates and Theodore of Blood, which add on to the game's extreme experience. We've currently arrived at the COX entrance. Now, sadly, I do not have a team, but they do have it fully working, and it's really enjoyable to do, especially when you do have a team. In addition, they have two of my most favorite weapons the Ancient God Sword, as well as the Zerai God Crossbow. The first one, the God Sword is extremely nice, especially with its spec. And as you guys can see, the effect it gives is absolutely amazing. In addition, it hits quite strong and allows you to easily spec out your PvP attacker. Then comes the Zare Crossbow. This does extreme damage, and once more as well, if we go ahead and refill our spec, you'll be able to see that it can give you a juicy looking spec, something that looks like this. There we go, guys. That being said, get ready for a crazy launch on the 22nd of January, where Valinor officially goes live. Of course, this is one of the top OSRSs out there, so there's going to be loads of players online, and the amount of events they're going to be hosting are insane. Make sure you do log on today using the links below to get yourself an additional entry into the giveaway by smashing the like button subscribing to the RuneScape original channel and commenting your in-game name. Make sure you do join their Discord and of course join the giveaways that are held in the Discord for a better chance at becoming riches when it launches. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching in today's video and please hop on to Valinora. As you guys can see there is currently an event going on the Zombies Champion has been spotted outside of the Bandit Camp, in addition to another world event where Grimm actually spawns. If you want to watch more videos about Valinor, make sure you go ahead and check them out, because I have posted them previously and they will be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching today, I hope every single one of you guys comes online, and I'll see you next time.